understanding the phrase, yearn for solace. Hello everyone, welcome to today's English language learning video. In this session, we're going to explore a very expressive and poetic phrase, yearn for solace. This phrase is not only beautiful in its composition, but it also offers a deep insight into human emotions and desires. So, let's dive into the meaning and usage of yearn for solace in the English language. Yearn for solace is a phrase composed of two key words, yearn and solace. Let's look at each word separately to understand their meanings. Yearn. Yearn is a verb that describes a strong, deep longing or desire for something or someone. It often conveys a sense of emotional intensity and deep longing that's more powerful than just wanting something. Solace. Solace is a noun that refers to comfort or consolation in a time of distress or sadness. It's about finding relief, peace, or comfort during difficult or sorrowful times. So, when we combine these words into the phrase, yearn for solace, we're talking about a deep, intense desire for comfort or relief during challenging times. To better understand yearn for solace, let's see it in some example sentences. 1. After the loss of her pet, Maria yearned for solace in the memories they shared. 2. During the difficult times of the pandemic, many people yearned for solace and connection. In these examples, you can see that yearn for solace is often used in emotionally challenging situations where there is a strong desire for comfort or peace. While yearn for solace is a beautiful phrase, it's important to use it in the right context. It's best suited for formal or literary contexts as it has a poetic and somewhat old-fashioned feel. This phrase is appropriate when discussing deep emotions or serious situations. It might be too intense for casual or everyday conversations. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, yearn for solace, and how it can be used to express deep emotional longing for comfort. This phrase is a wonderful example of the beauty and depth of the English language. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the rich tapestry of English vocabulary and expressions.